Good morning, Belen. Welcome to this edition of WBLN In the Middle for February 25th, 2019. The sixth grade World Geography course had another hands-on history lesson in learning about the Second World War. They learned not only about the wider conflict, but the millions of individuals who served of the uncommon valor that was common virtue. Quoted by Mr. Santana, it is my hope that in learning of men and women such as Robert M. Bryce, Audie Murphy, Latol Pilecki, Yudmila Pavlichenko, and many others that they will see in these examples of people of heroism and service that they will emulate in their own lives. The 44th annual CLOSA program for Belen began this weekend as 55 juniors toured the Arlington National Cemetery CLOSA. Close Up informs, inspires, and empowers young people to exercise the rights and accept the responsibilities of citizens in a democracy. The 8th grade will go on the middle school Close Up program the week before spring break. It was a historic Oscar night with no host and an emphasis on diversity. Nicholas Torres de Navarra has more. It was a night of surprises with major upsets in two of the biggest categories. Green Book took home Best Picture over the much favor favored Roma. And Olivia Coleman won Best Actress over Glenn Close, who is now the most nominated actress in history with no wins. Glenn Close, I, you've been my idol for so long, and this is not how I, I wanted it to be, and I, I think you're amazing. I love you very much. It also may have been the first Oscars in 30 years with no hosts, but the Academy rocked the opening with a performance by Queen and Adam Lambert, bringing people to their feet. The show also ta tapped popular comedians to present awards. The Academy seemed determined to part with its Oscars so white criticism from years past. Women in Color won in categories of Best Animated Short, Production Design, Costume, Makeup, Documentary, and Documentary Shorts. And three out of the four major acting awards went to people of color. Mashallah Ali, Regina King, and Rami Malek. I am the son of immigrants from Egypt. I'm a first generation American. And while Roma didn't win the Best Picture, Afonso Cuaron was honored with Best Director and Best Cinematography. As artists, our job is to look where others don't. For WBLN in the Middle, I am Nicholas Torres Navarro. Thank you, Nick. Hundreds are hurt from violent clashes in Venezuela this weekend. The country is at a crossroad with two men claiming leadership. The U.S. is keeping a close watch on the tensions. Christian Blasco reports. Hundreds injured from clashes along the Venezuelan border this weekend. It's the it's blood of the Venezuela people. It's the blood of the freedom. Tensions escalated after food and supplies were stopped from entering the country. Some of the trucks were burned. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo saying on the order of President Nicolas Maduro, the request came from the aid of Venezuelan opposition leader Juan He Valido. said, please bring food to my people. Please bring medicine to the sick who are here. Uh, that's what we have been working on these past few weeks. Control of Venezuela is in dispute between self-declared interim president Guaido and Maduro. But most countries, including the U.S., see Guaido as a legitimate president. Guaido is meeting with Vice President Mike Pence Monday in Colombia, where senior administration official says Pence is expected to voice resolute support for Guaido. Maduro, meanwhile, is standing firm, saying if the U.S. dares to attack, they will be received by the strength of Venezuelan forces. I don't believe at this point that military force is required, but there's no question that what has happened in Venezuela presents issues of human rights abuses and abuses of government, and there have been incredible violence. I'm Christian Blasco, reporting for WBLN. Florida History Bowl MB Championships. 30 teams from our region competed. All teams entered by, the, by Belen in the competition and made it to the playoff rounds. In the Varsity History B, we finished in first place and in third, pla in third place. Belen won a Varsity History Bowl competition. Our two other Varsity teams also earned rewards for their strong finishes. The JV team made it to the semifinals. Congratulations to the team. Today, the Chess Club will be meeting after school in F203. Model UN will also be meeting in E202 after school. Tomorrow, Archery will be meeting after school at Little Abner. Estoviet will be also be meeting at 6 o'clock p.m. at Belen. Now on to the menu.
Happy Monday, Wolverines. Today, we will have a high of 81 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies and 20% chance of rain. Tonight, we will have a low of 71 degrees Fahrenheit with 10% chance of rain. Now on to the rest of the week. This week, on Tuesday and Wednesday, you will have to bring out your umbrellas because there will be thunderstorms, which will clear up by the end of the week. Now on to Andres for sports. Thank you, Gavin. This past weekend, Belen's 7th and 8th grade baseball team defeated Hialeah Education Academy in a doubleheader, 7-4 in the first game and 6-3 in the second, putting them off to a great start for the season. Unfortunately for the middle school gold soccer team, they lost to St. Teresa 1-0. In other news, the Miami Heat lost to the Detroit Pistons this past Saturday, 119-96, with Josh Richardson leading the Heat with 22 points. For sports, now on to Amin at the desk. That's all the news for today. I'm Amin Twitter. From everyone here, have a wonderful day. And remember to stay golden, Wolverines.